Hello, my little hummingbirds. How are you tonight? Thank you for coming into my garden. Because when you come into my garden, I go into your garden. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below. Okay, tonight, you guys, I'm going to do another painting. And this painting is dedicated to Jesus, okay? He said he wants to have just a little talk with you, okay? I was going to do this today, this morning, but I ran out of my paper, so I had to go back out and get it. So... Are you guys ready? Thank you for coming here. Thank you for liking and sharing. Okay? Thank you so much. And by the way, let's pray for the people at the, the Capitol in um, Washington, you know. And let's pray that, you know, Trump has... Uh, have a hurt and stop trying to cause so much chaos and stuff because Jesus is watching that and that stuff that's happening right now is demonic and we need to, to call it as it is and stop trying to think that people are picking because nobody's picking right now okay this is just you being a spoiled brat and you didn't win it's time for a new chapter to come in it's time for Jesus the glory of Jesus to come in Okay? All right, now let's get it, guys. Let's get it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for coming in right now. We thank you for you showing your glory. We thank you for you giving us the love that only you can give. We thank you for you protecting the United States. And we're thanking you that any type of chaos that's getting ready to happen, you know, to our next president and our next vice president. Father, we thank you that you are protecting them and you are protecting all people, all souls not white, not just white, not just black, not just just Puerto Rican, not just Mexican, not God protect us all, all souls. And we thank you, Father. We thank you, thank you, thank you for shining your light on us. Here we go, guys. Jesus, 
you right now more than ever, Lord Jesus. We need you to guide our way. We need you to stop all the madness, all the sadness that's been going on. Father, we ask you, Lord Jesus, to just come in. Come in, Lord Jesus. Fill us with your glory. Please come in and rescue us from all this madness that's been going on. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for guiding our way, for keeping us safe, for protecting us with your heavenly host. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Please, you guys, just don't mind the table shaking, okay? I'm just being guided. If Jesus can stand the shake, the table shaking, you guys can. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on in. Come on in. We invoke you to come in. We thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for coming in. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for guiding our way. Thank you for giving us the golden white light. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving us the golden white light. The most highest protection of the land. Thank you for allowing your keys, for you to give us the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for giving us the keys to the kingdom of heaven, where you can, whatever is loosed in heaven will be loosed on earth. Whatever is bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us that last night that message. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we decree and declare a thing today. We decree and declare a thing today. Whatever is in heaven will be loose on earth. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for guiding our way. We thank you for guiding our way. Thank you for guiding her way. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, 
me, let him guide your way. Will you welcome him back home? In you, inside of you. Will you allow him to be in you? Will you allow him to come and set you free from you? From you. Can you let him in? Will you let him in? Or will you think that it's not time yet? We still got a lot of time. No, we don't. That's what he's trying to tell you right now. He's adamant about what he's saying. And he wants his people to understand. To get ready. Repent of every sin that you have done. Get ready. Just repent. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of everything that I've done. Any person that I've hurt, I repent of it, Father. Please guide my way. Please take everything that I've done, Lord Jesus. You take it. I give it up. I surrender it to you, Lord Jesus. Everything, Lord Jesus, I surrender it to you. I want to be set free from those old patterns. I want to be set free from those things that hold me in bondage. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
in all this pain that everybody's been in, everyone's been in a lot, a lot of pain. Will you usher me in? Will you allow me to come in back for my bride? Will you allow me to come back for my bride? Or are you going to sit back and say, oh, this is crazy that this woman is sitting on here talking about that I'm their bride, I'm their groom, I'm their husband. That's what the Bible says. Look it up. Look it up in Revelation. If you don't believe, it's time. It's time. It's time. Open your eyes and really see what's truly, truly happening. Stop thinking that a person that's a lawless president is what I chose. Stop thinking that. Trust me that this was supposed to happen. God already knew it was going to happen before it happened. God already knew that you were going to go through the things that you went through before it happened. Before you got attacked. Before you got beaten down. Before you got judged. He already knew that. So just open yourself up. And let me come in. Let me be your husband. Male or female. I'm coming back for my church. Not just to women. It's a bigger meaning to a bride. If you look it up spiritually. It's not what you think it is.
bless you guys. Thank you for coming into my garden because when you come into my garden, you never know what you might get by the swipe of my hand. This is what you get.